everybody and thank you for joining me at Freeform Lifestyle. Today's video is all about the ninja again and we are going to make a gorgeous roast pork dinner and we're going to create some amazing crunchy crackling on top. By using the ninja we're going to create a really easy dinner. We're going to cook the roast potatoes in with the pork as well. This is perfect for a family Sunday roast. Let me show you how to make it. So with the pork, I've had this now at room temperature for around 40 minutes. And you really do want to do that. That's definitely going to help it start to cook. I've also, as you've seen, I've put salt on this and then I've been drawing out any moisture that is in this pork. So we're just literally getting some titch, kitchen towel and dabbing that. I've done that twice now because we want to make sure that we get a really good crackling on here. And this is a 1.7 kilogram joint and it's a shoulder. I've prepared some potatoes ready to roast. Normally I parboil mine and I like to fluff them up. I'm literally just going to put them in like this and just sort of see how they go because unless you try things, you just don't know, do you? So they go right in the bottom. And on top of those, we're gonna add some vegetable stock and I've got 300 milliliters in here. Then we're gonna pop in the rack. You can just jiggle that about to get that to fit, which it does absolutely fine. Don't worry about the, the lump there of um, stock. That's just gonna dissolve once it gets cooking. And now this beautiful piece of pork is gonna go and sit on the rack on top like this. And we need to be able to pop the probing because we're going to use the probe for this just to make sure that we can get this cooked perfectly. So right in the middle, as you can see, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to pop it right in there. So we're going to get that middle temperature. I can always double check it with my own thermometer as well. So just tuck that inside. I'm not going to add anything to this i'm keeping it really simple to show you a basic way of doing some roast pork however if you want to add things to it please go ahead i've washed my hands so now we can put the lid down just make sure that probe's going inside nicely which it is you can see already that the probe setting is coming up there and showing on the screen but we want to move this over to the combi steam section and we're actually going to steam roast this Pork. there you go okay so we've got either manual here and you do your target temperature or you can do preset and you can choose your meat so I'm gonna go with pork okay so you just use these little arrows here so you've got either well done medium well or just medium I'm gonna opt for medium well on mine. And it literally is as simple as that when you use the preset. So we're gonna trust in this, we're gonna trust the probe, and let's start cooking it. Because we're steam roasting, it's gonna to steam to start with, which is gonna tenderize those potatoes, which is why we didn't need to parboil them. And once this gets up to steam, it will then obviously continue cooking and actually roast that piece of meat. And that's when we're gonna get the beautiful crackling. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to steam roast this, but I'm sure it will be pretty quick because everything really is in the Ninja. So um, I'll put a timer on and I will let you know when it's done. So that took just under nine minutes for the pressure to build. So now we've got, as you can see here, a target temperature and then we've got the actual probe temperature that it's at right now. So we're at the half hour mark, which included coming to pressure. And as you can see here, we've gradually going up 16 to 17 temperature at the moment it's actually taken a lot longer than i thought it would but it is a massive piece of pork to be fair so we're an hour and a half in and look we're getting really close now i've heard that some people do this on steam roast and then they air fry it at the end i'm hoping that there's going to be no need to do that and i can just rest it and carve it Okay, so we've come to an end finally. So we've been a good hour and a half. <gasps> oh my goodness, let me show you. Wow, is all I can say about that. Can you hear that? That is crispy. That crackling looks 
amazing. It's got a temperature in the middle. I'm gonna check it with my own thermometer as well, just to make sure, and we're gonna rest this. I don't feel like there's probably any need to air fry that because this is already gorgeous. The roast potatoes on the bottom look really good as well. I'm so pleased with how this pork has turned out. Look at that. And the crackling, of course, is super crispy and delicious. Took a bit of time, but literally no effort in the Ninja whatsoever. What an amazing roast this is gonna make. So let's get the roast potatoes out of the bottom of the pot. They don't look bad, you know, considering they've been cooked at the same time as the pork. I actually think they're gonna have more flavor and taste better than they actually look. So let's just load them up over there. There is some liquid still in the bottom of the pot. So they're not like totally crispy, but at the same time, they do have that crispy top to them and a softer bottom, but definitely a convenient way of cooking them. I've got to show you my Yorkshire puddings. I know this is all about the pork, but I've got to show you anyway. Look at those beauties. Wow, they're really big. So we've got lots of veggies. We've got peas, tender stem, and some carrots. I thought we could be here forever. Now it seems that we're lost in a memory. Now we've carved up the pork, I thought I'd show you how good the crackling is in the Ninja. Really bubbled up, super crispy, and exactly how it should be. We've eaten, I've cleared up, and we've got full bellies. My husband was absolutely adored the crackling on that piece of pork. The Ninja did such a great job. It was really juicy, it wasn't dry whatsoever, so medium well was a really great option. Overall, a great success, and I would definitely recommend cooking your pork in the Ninja this way. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you hit that like button. You know it helps my channel so much and it means the world to me when you do support me. And if you're not subscribed already, why not hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another video. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.